Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be exploring some of the largest stars in our galaxy and specifically we're actually going to take a look at what some of the largest stars might actually look like in real life. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. Now, this video is actually going to be mostly about visualizing things, and what I really wanted to do is go to the largest star we discovered, which is UI Skutai, and also take a look at and try to imagine what it actually might look like in real life, because unlike what you might think, it is not just a large spherical ball of fire. So here we are in the system of UI Skutai, so I'm going to accelerate time a little bit. And this is actually um, at a relatively large distance away from it, something close to 462 astronomical units, which is 462 times the distance of Earth to the Sun. I'm going to accelerate time a little bit more, and you'll start seeing something unusual happening. You'll notice that it actually kind of um, moves around a lot, and it actually changes shapes constantly. And that's because, even though we imagine it as a large sphere, it really isn't. It's more of a cloud. And the new version of Space Engine, a 990, and also some of the uh, options that were included in the new version, allow you to visualize this very, very well. So let's go a little bit closer to the star, and you'll get to actually see what it kind of looks like. So we're going to move to a distance of about... Um, a few astronomical units away from it. And from this distance, you'll see that it's really not a sphere at all. It is really more of an unusual fire cloud. Now, it does have a core in the middle, but this core is very small. And what is interesting about this is that it basically uh, changes shapes constantly, so you can't really define these types of stars using sort of a common understanding of how shapes work because the change uh, the shape changes so much that sometimes it's bigger and sometimes it's uh, smaller than what we gave it as an actual value so let's actually come a little bit closer even there's even a planet right there that's very very close to the star and you actually get to see what all of this looks like and i'm also going to dim this a little bit just so you can see what the inside appear like so as you can see very, very interesting uh, amorphous shape that doesn't really have any sort of comparison to what we see in real life other than maybe a large explosion or a flame that constantly changes shapes. Now, I actually also discovered this completely by accident while creating various stars and I made the star that does all of this uh, even though it was technically supposed to be a sun-like star. And here we are kind of on the outskirts of that particular star. It doesn't really have a name. It's sort of procedurally generated, but it is a G5 uh, star similar to a sun. But the idea here is that we're really looking at the shape. And this is a really, really good representation of what those various large gigantic stars are like. They don't have a sphere. They don't really have um, even something that we could call a shape because they're very amorphous. They're more like... Uh, clouds of fire that sort of come off from all directions. If I decrease the luminosity here again, you'll see that on the inside, it does actually have a more spherical core, but this core is actually really, really small in comparison to the actual cloud. So um, the what you would call the star itself, especially if you give it large dimensions, kind of like what UI Skutai has, it doesn't really have uh, that shape at all. So pretty much every red giant in the game now has these unusual amorphous shapes. And it's actually brilliant that they included them because it gives you an idea of what stars really look like when they get ridiculously large. And our own sun one day will also become very similar to this. Obviously, it won't uh, really be doing this that fast. In reality, it's really that slow. This is real time. But if you accelerate this quite a lot, you'll see that it starts moving more. And if you try to enter this region, you basically are entering a relatively, uh, well, not very dense region. It's more of a sort of a, a very large, very hot cloud filled with various uh, particles that are extremely superheated. 
So this is kind of what these red giants look like in real life. And pretty much all of them, including Beetlejuice, resemble the same sort of a shape. So here, I'm just going to accelerate a little bit so it starts moving around. You'll see that all of these unusual patterns and unusual um, plasma flares, I guess that's probably the best word for them, uh, just kind of move around and create unusual beautiful shapes. And if you actually move a little bit farther away and you accelerate time, you'll see that it's actually extremely beautiful. And trying to place yourself on a planet here and observe all of this from a planet really kind of puts you in a position where you start wondering if one day maybe we'll be able to settle down on one of these planets. And this is what we'll actually see in our night sky. And of course, when our own sun becomes a very large uh, expanded giant, this is probably what we'll be seeing as well. Very beautiful, but somewhat deadly uh, event. And by the way, if you have seen previous videos, you probably know that in about 5 billion years, or maybe about 4.5 billion years, our sun is actually going to expand and almost touch the orbit of Earth. So it's kind of going to look like this as well. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to do in this video. I wanted to demonstrate to you and show you some of the new features of Space Engine, but also show you what these large super uh, giants look like in real life. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. Let's escape this system. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.